on 102.5 The Bone. Happy, happy, happy. This is Happy Hour. Ah, yes. This is five minutes of Happy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Happy, hanging out with you. Call the show at 727 579 1025 and 1 800 771 1025. Time is short, but I am not, so I will get right to it. We're going to talk about that hack known as Ellen DeGeneres that the media is protecting, but I will not. Ellen DeGeneres is walking away from her namesake talk show. It's not really walking away more that they didn't want to have her around because of the bad energy and the fact that they lost sponsors and 50% of viewers. But we can go with the idea of her walking away. Yes. The TV host has made the decision that the upcoming season of the Ellen DeGeneres show will be the last. Ellen confirmed in a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Quote, when you're a creative person, you constantly need to be challenged. And as great as this show is, and as fun as it is, it's just not a challenge anymore. First of all, she is creative, but you've been needing to be challenged for more than 10 years because all you do is you dance around and you ask these softball things to all your celebrity friends because you're never going to ask anything tough. And the show is never really fun. I'm not the greatest person that can judge character because of my ADHD and I have something called nonverbal learning disability which is not Asperger's but it's on the spectrum so I'm not always good at reading character but at the same time I can tell you that there was nothing fun about Ellen's show ever and if you fell for it you probably think that The Bachelor is real. While the announcement comes just 10 months after several former employees came forward with claims of toxic work environment on the set of the show Ellen noted that her decision to say goodbye to the Ellen DeGeneres show has been in the works for some time. Yeah, because your ratings are down and you're irrelevant. But the main reason they got rid of you was you were absolute trash to everybody. To the top, to the bottom, to the interns, to the executives. And then she's going around acting like she's the victim where they're saying it was a misogyny and that people were against her because she's a woman, even though she was treating everybody on that team bad, including women. So if you were such a feminist and so woke and not misogynist, you would at least have been treating the women well, but you were treating everyone awfully. So enough of those excuses, you hypocritical, dirty, rotten imbecile. Well, I was going to stop after season 16. That was going to be my last season. And they wanted to sign on for four more years. I'd say I'd sign for maybe for one, the 63-year-old explained. And in quote, they were saying there was no way to sign for one. We can't do that with the affiliates and the stations need more of a commitment. So we settled on three more years and I knew that would be my last. Oh, every soccer mom and at-home father is freaking out right now. What are you going to do? Oh, that's right. Kelly Clarkson will probably get the slot and life will move on. I have one minute and 56 seconds left, so I want to say this. I've been pressured recently. There's that saying in life that you don't talk about. Politics, which we do now. Sex, which we do now. Money, which we do now. And religion, which we do now. The new thing should be not asking somebody if they got the COVID shot or not. I had co-workers going against the HIPAA law constantly asking me, did you get the COVID shot? I had family members saying, did you get the COVID shot? Literally, Corey, this week, I got the COVID shot just to shut everybody up. Because I don't want to get bitched at anymore. I don't want to get preached at anymore. I just go, you know what? I'm going to get it. And I even told the lady that at Publix. She's like, why are you here to get it? I'm like, because everyone's bitching at me. And um, just like how everybody's been bitching at me about not getting the COVID shot, I can hear people in the audience going, oh, enough for happy. We can't take it. Well, you were just able to manifest the fact that this segment is now over. Happy, happy, happy. This is Happy Hour. You're listening.